Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So um, today, the most awaited thing, guys, that we are going to do that we are going to generate a Spark HTML extend report, and we will be generating one PDF report also um, through some adapter. One adapter is already available in the form of um, even a dependency. We will add that particular dependency. The only thing is that uh, extend report 5.x is already available in the market and then the old report uh, most of the old report got uh, deprecated so this adapter 2.0 version we will be using it and i'll show you we have to add this particular adapter with this adapter you cannot exactly generate the extend html report you can generate extend spark html report you can generate the clove report but clove report we are not going to do that also, we can generate one spark PDF report also. I'll be showing you that is more than enough So let's see how to do that. So a couple of things first of all that you have to open your format XML file Okay, this particular dependency you have to add and the latest version. I think uh, 2.6.0 you have to see this you can check it. This is 2.6.0 recently released in December 2020 and you can see 2.6.0 is available. <clears throat> so I'm just going to add 2.6.0 instead of 2.5.0 just close this particular xml file and then certain configurations you have to do that so what you just need to do first of all that you have to go to your src test resources you right click on it and create a new a file over here so you have to one you have to add one extend dot properties file over here so simple right extend dot properties over here and then click on finish everything is in a small letter in the file name and then certain properties are already returned with me i'm just going to copy paste so these are the uh, supportive uh, properties you have to add that uh, spark report yes uh, true where exactly you want to generate it will generate one test output folder under this particular folder uh, one html file will be created and then uh, we have to add one uh, configuration.xml file also that i'll show you and then the report actually will be generated under this particular uh, spark report under test output folder and then the screenshot uh, short directory also you have to add it like this and then pdf report yes we need that pdf report will be generated over here and uh, other than that what exactly the view order you want to show that i want to show the dashboard then i want to show my test then i want to show my category exceptions author device name such okay it will follow this particular order in the report and then other system information like on which machine you are running uh, who is the user agent naveen is there and then uh, what is the build number other information if you really want to add you can do that so simple write system info dot build or let's say i want to write once again that uh, let's say i executed this particular application i simple say that is app name is equal to i simple write what is your app name so i'm writing automation practice like that so such information such parameters you can pass it over there now what you have to do guys you have to go to the same directory src test resources you have to add this particular configuration.xml file also so what we can do right click on it go to new create a file and this xml file what we have to give this xml file that what are the different configuration in terms of alignment in terms of uh, uh, theme and everything you can see that what kind of uh, encoding it will accept uh, what of protocol we are using it and then uh, simple write it like that do not change anything i'll share this particular entire uh, properties file and this xml file in the form of git repository i'll share the url uh, with you guys and you just need to close it after that what you have to do you have to add one adapter so to add that particular adapter you have to go to your runner and here you have to add one plugin adapter over here right so how to do this you put a comma over here and i'll simply paste it over here like that okay let me close this let me close this guy and that's it and save it see this adapter evans tech extend report cucumber adapter and this is the adapter put do not forget to write semicolon over here guys okay semicolon is compulsory otherwise it will give you exception over there and that's it and later on if you really want to add tags and other things you can do that so now let's see i'm running all the uh, step definitions which are available over here and run all the feature files directly available in this particular uh, folder app feature account paste feature and login page dot feature i'm going to run it so let's run it and let's see <clears throat> right now you see that okay i don't have any test output folder over here you can see this right click on it and simple go to refresh we don't have any test output folder it will generate a test output folder and let's see it is generating the report or not so run as j unit 
and uh, in the report also for any failure test case it will add the screenshot as well so let's see so let it run and uh, first it will execute your accounts page then it will execute the login page in the alphabetic order okay now it's running with the login page and uh, let it run forgot password got failed because deliberately i made it fail you remember that the locator we have changed actually so deliberately i made it fail so that we can see the screenshot for this particular scenario for this particular step over there forgot password link so yes everything is fine over here you can see the uh, j unit report over here you can see this uh, cucumber report also over here on the console and this uh, report also you can check on the cucumber web also you can do that but we are not bothered about this thing today we are bothered about it's generating the spark html report or not so right click on your project go to refresh now you see the get two folders got created awesome test output and this test output whatever the configuration that you have given in your extend dot properties so you can see that i have given this particular test output folder under that spark report folder is there you can see that and then spark.html got created and the screenshot will be created automatically under test hyphen output so you can see that the screenshot <clears throat> is coming over here now what i'm going to do i simple open this particular spark report and first let's open this index.html so right click on it and go to properties and copy the path over here and let's go to the browser and you can see uh, such a nice report over here like that so you can see that uh, you can i'll show you right away like this see a uh, december 20 time is 6 45 and one feature one feature failed and uh, this is the report this is the spark report we are getting it you can go to the bug section and you can see that okay yeah we have no such element exception is coming just open that and you can see a uh, complete okay what exactly the problem you can see that yes forgot password 111 got failed and with the proper screenshot available over here like that so in the report we are getting the screenshot here as well and then login with correct credentials got passed actually so all these things got passed over here account page i don't have any bugs so it's giving you test is passed over here like that then you can see that uh, <clears throat> okay the category wise also you can see that actually what exactly we are doing is that i already return at the rate accounts over here so that's why it's saying that okay at the rate accounts on the basis of a tag option okay it's creating that but you can see the complete dashboard over here and that's why all the system environment value that i told you it's saying that build is 1.1 username is naveen app name is automation practice os is mac you can pass some system environment variables also and then uh, category by tag wise also it's saying that yeah two test cases were there both got passed right awesome and you can see the complete graph timeline also you can see that account space took around uh, 16 seconds and the login page took around uh, 22 seconds over there like that super awesome report we have received now if you really want to see this particular uh, you can see that graph a graph a graph of a report if you really want to change the name you just need to go to your uh, uh, configuration.xml file and you just need to change the name over here like that you can change the document title whatever the title extent let's see you're working in amazon you can say that okay yeah amazon title or amazon report amazon web report something like this you can do that and the reporter name also you can instead of this grass uh, you know grass shopper report instead of that you can write your own name over here like that so you can customize in this particular configuration and then the chart location available at the bottom side so that's why the chart is coming at the bottom side over here like that okay and then uh, that's it no other major information the theme is a uh, dark you can use a standard theme also and then it will not come in the black color it will come in the normal white color theme okay like that so you can use a standard or a dark over here like that okay and then let's see the H uh, pdf report so for pdf report it will generate one test output folder go to pdf report and right click and just simply open this particular report and you will get one amazing pdf report over here you can see that let me just maximize it see this report guys six page report we have got this is the date these are the features scenarios and steps how much time it took and then mm -hmm. you see the kind of graphs and the kind of reports they are showing i really loved it actually that you can share with your client accounts page feature and uh, login page feature we have one test fail graph also a scenario summary also they are giving and these are the feature name you can see that okay like this and then let's go to the next page 
see this next page. Amazing accounts page feature and login page feature and report uh, feature wise scenario wise everything you are getting it over here like that. Same thing for login page and we don't have any tag right now in login page feature file but for account page we have at the red account a tag is available over there and all the steps are getting passed but here forgot password getting failed that's why it's showing fail one over here like that right and then you can see that okay yeah it got failed whatever the reason no such element exception it will not give you any uh screenshot over here guys in pdf but it will give you the screenshot in your uh, html report is spark extend html report and then the login with correct credentials and everything the last uh, scenario got passed over here so i think this is the last page you can see that so what do you think about these reports guys i really loved it personally and then uh, it will work absolutely fine with the parallel execution also okay so i'll share this entire uh, configurations with you guys you just need to three things you need to do that first add these two uh, extend report dot properties and extend config dot xml in your under your src test resources and make sure that okay you're using the right uh, folder path over here you can change the folder path according to your requirement let's say you don't want to generate test output you want to generate some different output name or folder name you can generate that and uh, the first thing is that you have to add that particular uh, extent report adapter six adapter you have to use that right guys so if you really want to use uh, extent report a four dot x version in that case you have to use a one point x version of this adapter you have to do that but we are not going to use it because a cucumber extend report 5 is already available in the market so better to use this particular dependency and then it will generate refresh your project it will generate these two things and you can see that dot png file the screenshot is available over here for forgot password you can see that okay so that's all for this particular video i really wanted to cover it and then you please run it and let me know if you are able to do that I'll share this entire code in the repository and then um, you are good to go. That's it. So thank you so much guys. Thanks for watching this particular video. If you really loved it and uh, please subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Press the bell icon to get a notification for the next video. And till then take care. Best of luck. Keep watching Navin Automation Labs.